नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू अनदर फन फिल्ड सेशन ऑफ रानीज गिफ्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग मेजरिंग डिफरेंट थिंग्स इन डिफरेंट वेज थ्रू डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट आवर फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी ओ वेयर आर वी वी कैन सी सो मेनी वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स अ लेडी फिंगर chili radish carrot bottle gourd potato watermelon capsicum cauliflower and a big round pumpkin who looks like the leader of this group oh yes we are at the pumpkin chopal dear students are the vegetables looking similar to each other No they are all different some are small some are big some are round and some are tall and they are discussing something let's try to hear what is happening in pumpkin's chopal look at the picture and compare which vegetables are lighter or heavier than the other vegetables the pumpkin says i am heavier than bottle gourd the capsicum says i am lighter than cauliflower the bottle gourd says i am heavier than carrot the chili says i tell you i am the most hmm what do you think is the chili lightest of all or heaviest of all chili is lightest of all the vegetables we hope you were able to guess and this fresh juicy and green watermelon is also saying something i am dash dan pumpkin i believe the watermelon is lighter than the pumpkin so we can complete the watermelon's dialogue with the word lighter we now have a question here what do you think is heavier pumpkin or a watermelon as we discussed we believe that the watermelon will be lighter and if you have some different observations do discuss it with your friends teachers and family now based on the dialogues of all the vegetables in pumpkin's chopal let's complete the sentences given here part a is an example given musk melon is heavier than carrot so here we are comparing some vegetables or fruits which is heavy and which is light let's find it together is that all right dear learners we now read the part b capsicum is lighter than do you remember what does capsicum say yes it said i am lighter than cauliflower so we can write capsicum is lighter than cauliflower moving to part c dash is heavier than dash we can write that the bottle gourd is heavier than a carrot similarly in part d dash is lighter than dash so who is lighter than whom think blink think blink I think you can write about chili and the cauliflower or the radish dear friends after having fun at the pumpkin's chopal it's activity time now so one two let us do collect a few things from your surroundings sort out the lightest and the heaviest among those I have collected few things from my surroundings and let's see which is heaviest 
and which is the lightest. This seems heavy. This is light. This is also light. And this seems the lightest one. So, I keep it here first and this at the last. Now, we need to arrange all the things in increasing order of their weight. Let's see. This and this. Can you make a guess which one is heavier? Hmm. I am able to experience that this is lighter and this is heavier. So, I keep it here and the candle here. My objects are now arranged in the increasing order of weight. And now, after this thinking activity, we have again something to do. Let's not wait and move ahead. One, two, let us do. Dear friends, do you know you can make your own balance with daily objects? How to do it? Let's read. Make your own balance with the help of a paper cup, thread and a hanger like the one shown here. Now, compare any two objects like eraser, ball, bead, pencil, crayon, etc. to see which one is heavier. I have made my balance. Let me show you. This is my balance and here you can use any stick for balancing it and picking it up. I am measuring the crayon and the sharpener. I put it here and the crayon here and now I pick this up. Can you see? The crayon seems heavier than the sharpener. Measure the things around you using the balance. We are sure you are going to enjoy. Dear students, we hope that you have gained some estimation skills also while measuring and observing things. So, are you ready for some estimation? Let us do. Circle the heaviest one. In the group A, we have a pencil, a notebook, and a bag and I think the bag will be the heaviest because it can have lots of pencils and lots of notebooks. So, we circle the bag here. Can you think about part B? What will be the heaviest thing? A bag of oranges, an empty bucket or a pack of crayons? Think and make the circle on the heaviest object. In the next part, we need to circle the lightest one. Let us try. In group A, we have a doll, a gift box and an eraser. And clearly, the eraser seems to be the lightest one. So, we circle the eraser like this. And in the next part, we have, oh no, no, we want our students to try this. So, think and circle the lightest object. Next one is also for you. Dear learners, in the last activity, we made a circle around the heaviest and the lightest object. Can we now mark the heavy objects with the alphabet H? And the light objects with L? Of course, we can. Also, we need to tick mark the objects that will make the balance go down or which are the heavier ones. Let's see. In part A, we have a pumpkin and a potato. Clearly, the pumpkin is heavy. So, we write an H here. And the potato is light, so we write the L here. And where to put the tick? On the pumpkin or on the potato? Right, on the pumpkin. In part B, we have an orange and a watermelon. I hope you can imagine that the orange will be light and the watermelon will be heavy. And tick 
mark will be made on the fresh green watermelon. We hope you are able to connect with us. Don't forget to write H on the heavier objects, L on the lighter objects and put a tick mark on the heavier objects. Dear friends, this session is coming to an end. We will meet again in another fun filled session. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep enjoying. Take care. Namaskar. Namaskar.